Okay, this is worksheet 24. I'm gonna walk you through some of these problems. Um, make sure that as I wrote in the instructions, you have this nice chart available. Um, you're gonna be using it to refer and get the values of reduction potentials as needed. So this is from your handout 24. Calculate the cell potential uh, for these two redox reactions, okay? Um, I'm going to start by writing plus two, zero, zero, plus one. So I'm gonna look at lead going to plus two, going to lead, right? That uses up two electrons, it gains two electrons. And then the other half reaction is two silver metals, uh, release two silver ions and two electrons. Okay, and then to get the cell potential, this is being um, gain electron reduced, lose electrons oxidation. So this is my reduction, I need the E red, and this is my oxidation, so I need my oxidation potential, and this is where I go to the table, and I look for lead and lead two, right here, and then I'm gonna find silver, I bet someone out there found it before me. I'm distracted by the power washing going on next door. Well, it's silver. Here we go, silver. Okay, so silver is, uh, okay, let's go with lead first since that's a reduction potential and that's 0 0.13, negative 0.13. Mm -hmm. And then my oxidation is 0.80. Nope, where are we? The, oh, sorry. Silver. Okay, so then my silver is 0.80, but it's the inverse, so it's 0.80. Okay, so you would expect just based on the reduction potentials that silver must be getting reduced. Hmm. Oh. And your lead must be getting oxidized and right off the boat, you know that the way that it is written does not look good. So let me just double check this really quick. Lead goes from plus two gains two electrons to zero, silver goes from zero, loses electrons. To be oxidized. So the E cell is 0.13 plus 0.80 volts, negative point 93 volts. Is this reaction potential indicating that the reaction is spontaneous as written? Right? No, it's not spontaneous as written. Let's look at the next reaction. My next reaction is chlorine and plus two, negative one, plus three. And I'll look, uh, so chlorine is going from zero to negative one. So it's gaining electrons. Each one is gaining one, so there's two electrons going on here. Gain electrons, that's my reduction. And then iron is going from two to three, so it's losing electrons, becoming more positive. Two irons. Two iron plus three and two electrons. 
Okay, that's my oxidation. So I'm gonna use my table again. Hopefully I don't take as long. Uh, I have an iron three to iron, so that's not it. Iron two to iron, that's also not it. So that's not it. That's not it. Where did it go? Here it is. Iron three and iron two. Point seventy seven. Oh wait. I'm gonna find that's point seventy seven and then chlorine and chloride. They're right here. That's 1.36. So I'm gonna use the E red here because it's the reduction. And that is 1.36 volts. And then here I have iron two, iron three, but I want the oxidation, which is net opposite of whatever's here, 0.77. Okay, so now I get my E cell, 1.36 plus point negative 0.77 volts and so my e cell is 0.59 volts this reaction is spontaneous and you could tell because chlorine right is i have chlorine as a reduction and it has a higher reduction potential and my iron as the oxidation and that's actually how it would work out okay so this reaction has is spontaneous as right now Okay, let's look at the second part. Which cation would be the strongest oxidizing agent? I gotta go back to my table. I'm gonna erase this. Magnesium ion. Magnesium ion is way down here and my chromium ion is way up here. So of these two, we're looking for the strongest oxidizing agent. So it would be the one that's more likely reduced. That would be the one higher up. Right, so chromium. Which cation is the strongest reducing agent between copper one, here's copper two, this is copper one, and lead ion. Between these two, right, whoever's got the smallest reduction potential that would be the one easily oxidized so the strongest reducing agent that would be the one now let's consider the following galvanic cell the anode is on the left and the cathode is on the right so I'm already telling you where the anode and the cathode are uh, if you want to confirm that which I actually do because I didn't realize I wrote that in the instructions. Uh, nickel, we're gonna find nickel. Nickel's right here. And cobalt. So nickel to nickel two and cobalt. Oh, okay, right there. So in this case, Right, this one's above, so this would be reduced. This is the cathode, and this is the anode. This is cathode, is this is anode. Did I write that? The anode is on the left. I didn't, was I trying to be clever? I don't know, but I'll delete this part of your worksheet. Okay, so once you've figured out who your cathode is and who your anode is, now you're going to answer the questions. Gift the half reaction at the anode. So at the anode, which is oxidation. Oh, I remember I had gold here before, but your table doesn't have gold and I must have forgotten to fix the, the, the instructions because I had to change it for cobalt because your table does not have gold in it. Okay, so give the half reaction at the anode. The anode is cobalt, it's an oxidation. Oxidation means it loses electrons. So I go from cobalt to cobalt plus two and two electrons, losing, losing electrons. Give the half reaction at the anode. So the anode's gonna start with the ion. 
plus two electrons to produce nickel metal. That's the um, cathode. Cathode is the reduction, anode is the oxidation. Write the overall cell reaction. So I'm not asking for cell potential, I'm asking for the reaction. So the reaction is cobalt and nickel, and they're balanced because you have two electrons and two electrons. Producing nickel and cobalt. And that's your reaction, your whole cell reaction. Explain the function of the salt bridge, right? The salt bridge is meant to balance ions in the cell allows the flow of electrons, right? Without, uh, it completes the circuit. Without the salt bridge, you wouldn't see any voltage on the voltmeter. You wouldn't get a flow of electrons. Well, I hope this helps.